Hey friends and welcome back to the Gentleman's Journey. Guys, in this one we're back in the shop talking about another boot leather care option. I'm so excited to talk about this topic because guys, there's a growing trend, especially under the younger gentlemen, of being good stewards of what God has given them. On this channel, we're all about stewardship. We wanna punch consumerism in the face and just get some good stuff that we can care for. As you get into it, it's a really fun process and I think there's just something that feels so good about caring for your leather. So in this one, we're gonna be talking all about the Black Rock Leather and Ridge. This stuff is awesome. I first got onto it by my good cobbler buddy. He's a local boot shop repair guy here in my town and I was picking his brain about my Thursday captains. Towards the end of the video, we talked about different care products that he has, different stuff he's used over the years. And this is one of the ones that he talked about. Let's check back and see what he had to say about it. Black Rock is another good conditioner. I don't know if you- Black from... Rock, huh? Yeah, no, I haven't used that yet. Yeah, it cleans, it Let softens, Let me know if you guys have used Black Rock in the comments below. Check it out. You'll be really pleased with that. Very cool. We sell a lot of that, so we have a lot of that here. Need to recommend that for these ones here? Definitely, on those Thursday boots. I'm uh -huh. surprised how they haven't really recommended it, but okay. that's my two cents on Very it. Good. If you want that on those Thursday, if you want your boots to last, use Black Rock. What I like again, I like about it is it penetrates the leather. It doesn't just stay on the surface. Uh -huh. It goes where it works right into the leather. So you talked about a lot of products, but mm -hmm. if you were just to have a guy grab a set of Thursdays right. and you want to polish them, what would you go I would back suggest, to this guy? I would suggest Black you rock? I would suggest you some Black Rock. Mm -hmm. Clean them off. You always want to take the surface dirt off. How do you how would you clean them? You talked to me the other day and you said you said no to saddle soap. No, I'm, I'm, there's a, a lot of people like saddle soap. Saddle soap is good for saddles. Gotcha. But for shoes, what happens with saddle soap, it just doesn't work. It, it tends to kind of maybe, at times, most boots, it'll run the boot. It just, ah. it just doesn't work on those. And again, that's my opinion, but I, with a lot of that I've used, that's why I've gone to something like Black Rock. Black so Rock, you, you just work it right in okay. into the boot. I tend to use my hands a lot, which I shouldn't do, but I do anyway. <laughs> So would you kind of clean and it off with a horsehair brush and then? No, with this black that, rock, we would, would just do? clean them. And you can already see sure. what a little bit I've done. Yeah, you sure can. And it'll just take the surface dirt off. And then with a rag, you can go back and clean them Interesting. off. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, and it takes all the surface dirt off. And then you can go ahead and use, I would, on these Thursday boots, uh -huh. to keep them this way, I would strongly, strongly recommend the Tarago dye or polish. Oh. Okay. Again, it's got the oil in there and it'll keep the color. It, the shine will, will shine come right back. Mm. And for conditioning, again, you may want to use some neat foot oil okay. afterwards and clean them up, so. I always tell them, just on a Sunday evening, you're watching the game or watching TV, grab all your boots and just clean them at yeah. once and kick mm -hmm. back. It's just have, you have it, sometimes people have a tendency of putting too much. Okay. Black Rock and it's no, uh, Norwegian. You don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way. A can like this will last you, I'd say, Oh, maybe 10 to 15 pairs of shoes. Okay. It lasts a long okay. time. The same thing with the Norwegian. Yeah. It lasts you a long time. As long as you don't put sense. it on there. All right. So I couldn't wait to get my hands on this stuff. Guys, it's been a little while, but I've been checking it out and I really can see why Joseph loves it so much. Now, a little bit about this company. It was founded in Perkins, Illinois. This guy had a boot shop, a Western wear store, and he had to send out his customers with something that he trusted for them to carry for their boots and other leather products. So what he ended up doing is creating his own product. Years later, his grandson now owns the company and they're rocking it out. Now it even comes down to the details of the lid. If you check out their website, they even have a story of how they designed this lid. All of the steel and everything is made in America. So it's American product. They have a lot of American pride and hey, you can't go wrong with that. So guys, let's get into the ingredients a bit. Just like any other conditioner out there, it's a bit of a secret. So they don't tell us much, but let's go over what they do tell us. So this stuff has carbonara wax and other mineral oils and then water in it. So again, we don't know a whole bunch about it, but what we can do is kind of break that down. What we know about some of that stuff, of course the water is gonna get things moving around. It's really good to have a water-based product. The wax is gonna be what you can feel after you apply it, it has a tactfulness. Now that's gonna be that wax, that's gonna be that outer layer. And then of course, 
it has some of those oils packed in there. Now those oils are what's gonna cause it to penetrate deeply. So guys, this isn't waterproofing your boots, but it does water resist. So at the end of the video, after it dries, we'll beat up some water on it and kind of see how it goes. Now that said, it doesn't have any alcohol or any kind of solvents. So it says that it's a cleaner, so they're gonna have to get that cleaning agent out of the mineral oils, I suppose. Now guys, this is because it doesn't have the alcohol and stuff, it's not a real big cleaning agent, even though it says that it does clean the leather. I would say if your boots are really dirty, you're definitely gonna wanna clean them at first. Now guys, I have a couple options here. You've probably seen the video I did on the foam leather cleaner by Red Wing. So this is a good option. I also have the Cobbler's Choice leather cleaner. I did another video on this. This is a good option. Of course, there's saddle soap. Different guys have different opinions. In fact, if you watch back that video with Joseph, you know, he wasn't too keen on saddle soap for uh, boots. He said it belongs on saddles. At any rate, again, you're gonna have to start growing your relationship with your leather, trying to find out what it wants, trying to find out what your budget can afford, and you guys can work that out. The leather cleaner is a good all around option. Uh, if your boots are really dirty, you're gonna wanna get it clean even before you put the black rock on. Now that carbonara, carbonuba wax is from a Brazilian tree. Uh, essentially, they call it the tree of life, so do what you will with that information, but just don't eat the fruit. Now, not to worry, friends, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna be putting it on my throw goods, but just real quick, a little bit about what it belongs on. So they say that you can throw this on everything. Of course, stay away from that patent leather, that uh, new book, and of course, the suede. Those kind of leathers, you know, the new book and the suede have these long fibers, and they can really get clogged up, the pores of that leather. So you have special options for that. That's pretty much across the board, guys. Uh, a lot of these conditioners are basically for your oil tan, your veg tan, your smooth tan, calf skin, Chrome XL, stuff like that. This stuff is made for all of it. So they say for all your finished leathers, again, it's not just for boots, guys. Don't forget to condition your wallets and your belts. If you're anything like me, my belt gets done in my wallet. Not only do I put it in my pocket, I throw it on the dash of the pickup. It might get some sun on it and this and that. And, tossed around so all these little if you have keychains and all that stuff finished leather uh not that tooling leather not the you know dry leather you'll get from tandy to start building your little leather projects not that but your finished leather that's what they want this on in fact the slogan that's been picked up from the grandma is essentially if it's leather use black rock i think even joseph agreed with that remember what he said on those three if you want your boots to last Use black rock. So right now the price is coming in at about 1150 for this stuff. I'll drop a link in the description below. Make sure and click that if you're interested in buying some of this. What it's gonna do, you'll send you over to Amazon. You'll purchase it. My link is gonna send you there and I get a little kickback. It's not gonna cost you a dime extra. It just helps me bring you videos just like this. At any rate, let's move on and get some conditioner on these boots. Now, BlackRock says that it's not gonna darken the leather, uh, but guys, we're gonna test that. So we're gonna see what it does. If you're really concerned about that, uh, test an area, but you also have your Big Four. We recommend this stuff and your Red Wing Leather Cream. Now, guys, I was just in a Murdoch's. I don't know if you have a tractor supply store in your neighborhood, but friends, pop into one of those, head over to the tack area, and what you're gonna find is these huge, like, gallon jugs of Neats for Oil. If that's what you're looking for, if you have some leather that you just don't, don't want to darken, you want to play it safe, you know what? You can grab some of this stuff or just head down there and you get you a gallon. You can spread it all around the neighborhood, have all your friends come over and polish their boots and you can do it again 20 more times. So it's a really cheap option, uh, but let's get back into the black rock. Now, as far as testing an area, what you hear a lot of guys say is you want to test like the heel or something. Well, I, I gave that some thought and I started thinking that you know, why not, if you're gonna test something, test the collar. This is an area that sometimes you see like the hiking boots have a padded collar. Well, that collar could actually be darker. So say it darkened it. Well, I don't think it looked too bad to have a darker collar or maybe even behind the pull tab. Essentially, you're looking for kind of a hidden spot. So, you know, my pants, I don't do the cuff thing. So I will have at least the top section of my boot covered. So I think that's a pretty good spot. If you, I've already done this, but if you wanted, you could just leave it like that for a couple hours, even overnight if you're super concerned. And then that way you can test and see if it really darkens or if you should stay away from it and go a different route. So you've already seen, I'm just jumping right in with my fingers. You know, this stuff here is really awesome. It doesn't have any 
harsh chemicals. And that's what they say on their website. I've watched some of their videos and that's what they recommend. They say just get in there with your fingers and I think that's a really awesome way to do it. Again, you know guys, I always say grow a relationship with your leather. You wanna start understanding what it wants and what it needs. As far as how much to go on, you know, use it uh, sparingly. A little goes a long ways. But as far as how often, guys, that's something that you're just gonna have to get to figure out. You know, it, it starts with what kind of leather you have, whether it's oil tan, veg tan, chrome, that's all gonna change it and that's all gonna help determine what your boots want. But then taking it up a step further, you gotta start deciding, you know, are, you, are these construction boots? Are you working in concrete every day? Or are you going to the office or just hiking on some trails? So you start thinking about really what you're actually using your boots for. And I think that's gonna determine how often you should be conditioning your boots. Uh, again, I think you can grab a different set of maybe two or three pairs of boots, even some that take the same conditioner. Just sit out on your front porch and watch the grass grow a little bit and kick back or watch the game and do your boots. It doesn't have to be a chore. It doesn't have to be a task it can suddenly be something that's fun. So, this stuff here, we talked about it not being waterproofing, it's water resistant. We'll do a bead test here in a little bit, but if you really want that, guys, you're gonna have to at least go with some mink oil, or you're gonna have to go with some snow seal. Now, guys, that's gonna darken the leather, that's gonna change the whole look, the whole profile of your boot, uh, and some boots demand that. Some of the things that we put our stuff through I don't know if you live in upstate New York or Maine and you're traipsing through the snow. Maybe you're watching somewhere up in Canada or you just have a type of you know, job that's always getting wet. You might need something like that. And so really that's all I'm talking about guys. Just starting to understand your leather, starting to know what it wants and what it doesn't want. So again, if you haven't already, if your boots are dirty, I didn't with these. Oh no, I did. I actually cleaned it with the leather cleaner. So I cleaned it with the leather cleaner because these, this is the first time that I'm really caring for these boots since I got them. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've just been putting them through their paces like you wouldn't believe. Uh, so I did clean them, I, I used the cobbler's choice. So you're gonna start seeing the difference, but that's the process. Take the laces out, this is easy, there's only three eyelets there. They want you to put it on, you know, with your fingers, you can always use a cloth. But then they kinda say to wipe it down, and what that's gonna do is get some of that dirt, this is actually gonna bring up some of the dirt and the cloth is gonna start wiping that out. Now you're gonna feel that tackiness go away. That's something that they said, if you feel it kinda tacky, that means you put too much. Well, I used it really sparingly another time and I'll tell you what, I still felt it. This conditioner feels different to me than any other conditioner has. Again, it, it deeply penetrates, but it also leaves a layer of wax. Now guys, there's oils. Those typically penetrate more deeply because it's a, it's a bit of a liquid. Even the oils will have waxes in them, but then you'll get like a stiff wax. And we've talked about that. Cobbler's Choice has a wax and it has like an oil. Open Offs has the same thing. A lot of them have two different options. Or there's like, well, this is really a liquid, the big four, but this is a cream. So I feel like there's a cream, there's a liquid, and this is, there's still the boot oils, more liquidy than that. That's closer towards a cream than others. This to me is like a hybrid. It's not quite a cream, but it's not quite a liquid. It's more on the creamy side, obviously, uh, and, and that's what I go for, guys. If you're gonna use the boot oil, all I say is make sure you're using a cloth you know, and put it on here, because if you take some boot oil and you start pouring on your boot, you're gonna have a darker spot there than other places. So get it on here and start moving that oil around. This stuff is like a hybrid. Now that tactfulness, tackiness is coming off because I've already wiped it down with the rag. The last step for you guys is a boot brush. Now if you haven't, make sure and check out my boot brush video. I have videos on all these products, guys. Lots of care videos and stuff like that. A boot brush is a gentleman's best friend in the boot world. Uh, this is what's gonna really do that last step 
And you can, it does bring out a little bit of luster, a shine after this, because you are brushing out those waxes and you're really just agitating everything. And so you're agitating the oils, you're agitating the waxes, you're getting the, you know, the waters in there to move things around. And this is really the last step. I'm probably gonna do this a little bit more here in a minute, but guys, it just, it really truly doesn't get better than that. That, this conditioner definitely has Gentleman's Journey stamp of approval. I love the heck out of this stuff. I mean, just look at that. So what we're gonna do, a final step could be, if you want, you can waterproof it. Now, Cobbler's Choice, I did a video on this. I did a video on the leather protector by Red Wing. You can waterproof the boots next, and then that's gonna add that additional layer. So it's not gonna be snow seal. It's not gonna be mink oil. Uh, these are safer for your leathers. It's not gonna clog the pores and stuff. Again, I won't go through that because it's not a video on that. I've already done those. It's just another layer to keep the water off. I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna come back in 24 hours, guys. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna leave them right here and I am going to beat up some water on here and show you kind of how it resists water. If it still penetrates with the water, what it does, we want to see that. But in the meantime, guys, just take a shot of that. Check out the difference there. That boot looks ready for date night, as far as I'm concerned. Check it out. Well, friends, here we are. It's been about 24 hours for me, probably about a millisecond for you guys, but I can't believe how awesome this stuff turned out on my boots. So check this out. This has been untouched, hasn't been clean or anything dusty. And here we go over here with the Black Rock. Now guys, I'm super impressed with the results of this stuff. Let's see again, we're just doing this last test to see if it's at all water resistant. So I got my little pail of water here and we're just gonna toss a little on there and see if it beads up or what it does. All right, that's pretty good. That's honestly pretty good for just a conditioner and not a waterproofer. Check that out. Cool, I'm happy with that guys. That's gonna work for the average gentleman, kind of a run and gun lifestyle. Slap this stuff on there and you got some pretty decent wax built up there. I'm, I'm impressed guys, that'll work for me. I really love this stuff, like I said in the beginning. You know, taking care of your shoes, taking care of your boots. This is all stewardship stuff. So I got a bunch of videos coming up. I really hope you'll consider sticking around for more content. Guys, I really enjoy all the comments we get down below. Make sure and talk to me down below. But until the next one, God bless you. And hey, don't forget to give those boots some love from time to time. <laughs>